So I've been super distracted lately by something really cool. And it was spectacular, both how it started and the premature fireworks. This got me excited with the idea of making a rocket engine simulator. So here's some of my early attempts. And as you can see, I'm basically just trying to pop some particles in a shaped collider box. And we have some of the particles escaping. So rather than focus on that problem, I made a little pulse experiment, which effectively just allows me on one click to have a pulse of particles come through. And still, rather than solving the collider problem, let's just make everything pretty and slow this down for recording purposes. Definitely not what I did. Anyway, it's looking nice and everything seems to be working, sort of. So we could run this with altered chamber target particle levels, kind of mimicking a pressure level. Now the particle pulse at the valve will regularly pulse to maintain the chamber at roughly plus or minus 30 of the particle target number in the chamber. So what we can do is run a number of these simulations at different chamber targets and see what happens. And we'll make the groundbreaking discovery that more particles in the chamber leads to a higher flow rate in the exhaust. This is truly a spectacular model. Okay, well so far we've just been looking at particles in the chamber and then bouncing around. Nothing particularly exciting happening. We need to look at combustion. Not like that, more like this. <laughs> okay, seriously, we need to be able to have a reaction occur between these particles. So here we go. You can see as they collide, they react, generate a new particle, and it has great momentum as well. I also took this opportunity to fix the collider, so the particles shouldn't be escaping. Now if you're enjoying this video, why not like, comment, subscribe, make a cup of tea or coffee, whatever your preference is. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Now here you can see a simulation of the combustion process going on, where we can select to open a valve for the oxygen and select to open a valve for the fuel, though at the minute I don't have the animation for the valve, so really it's like priming the fuel and the oxidizer. And we can mix them together and see a reaction occur. Ideally, you want to have everything react completely, but usually this is not the case, and we want to avoid creating a very hot system rich in oxidizer, as this tends to destroy the metal and metal composite parts of the engine. So with the Starship system, that would mean running the engine a little fuel rich, which will be the methane as it has the liquid oxygen and liquid methane. And we can simulate this by having an additional pulse of fuel prior to pulsing the oxygen and fuel together. You can immediately see that more of the oxidizer is reacting faster and not hanging around in the chamber too long to carry out those reactions we really don't want with the metal and metal composite parts. Now we can also explore different throat diameters for the exhaust. And so I've got a few that I've been testing here. You can see that perhaps the sort of more mid-range one is a bit of an ideal situation between having reactivity within the chamber, but also more rapid exhaust of high velocity particles. Anyway, this is fun for a lot of tinkering and it's a nice little early stage of a project to explore rocket engines. However, I really need a better way of making these engines, so we may go into creating something akin to a bit of an engine builder in future. Thanks so much for watching, and I wonder what is the most epic way to end this video.